Hi everyone. In honor of the Earth for this lovely week of Earth celebration and Earth Day, um, I'm going to read today The Earth and Sky. The, the, this is another great series of books. Um, it's Scholastic, a first discovery book. They have tons of books like this, and the pages are really cool, you'll see. Um, I think I have Water and Sun, really, really awesome science books. Um, created by uh, Gallimard Junessi and Jean-Pierre Verde, illustrated by Sylvain Pirols. See what I mean? This is Earth, our planet. From the space shuttle far out in space, it looks like a small blue-green globe. The Earth is wrapped in the air we breathe and surrounded by moist white clouds. Our atmosphere is made up of mostly two gases, nitrogen and oxygen. All living things need oxygen to survive. From space, the seven continents look like little islands floating in a giant sea. Nearly three quarters of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Dry land, majestic mountains and low-lying plains, makes up the rest. Isn't that amazing? It's mostly water. Below Earth's surface, there are many different layers of rock. Deep beneath the rock, Earth's core is red hot. People, animals, and plants live above ground. Many animals even burrow underground. All living things need oxygen to breathe and water to drink. For millions and millions of years, rivers and streams have flowed over the Earth's surface. As the water seeped into cracks in the earth, it wore away rocks to form these caves and underground streams. Ever since there has been a planet Earth, volcanoes have been erupting on it. Sometimes smoke, ash, and steam blast out of volcanoes. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust. During some eruptions, hot, melted rock from deep in the Earth's core flows out of the mouth of the volcano. The hot, molten rock is called lava. During the daytime, sunlight shines upon the Earth. The Earth travels around the Sun, our source of light and warmth. The Earth also rotates or spins on its axis. The countries that are, tur that are turned toward the Sun get daylight. That's like the story we were reading about yesterday, about the equinoxes and the um, solstices, the tilt of the Earth as it travels around the Sun. The Earth spins on a tilt. The sun cannot heat the whole world evenly. North and South Poles are always cold, even in summer. The South Pole is the coldest place on Earth. The equator is halfway between the North and South Poles. The equator gets a lot of heat from the sun. It is always hot in the equator.
Earth has just one moon. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. From Earth, we see only the part of the moon that reflects the sun's bright light. The moon revolves around the Earth, just as the Earth revolves around the sun. So the Earth goes around the sun, and the moon goes around the Earth. Hey, we were talking about the phases of the, the moon in a book last week. Remember? The little girl wanted the dad to get the, the moon for her. And it kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So this is what I was talking about when I was saying you can learn more about the phases of the of the moon. Because it looks like the moon is getting smaller and smaller. But it's really the same size. That's just how it looks to us on Earth. Based on the angle it is that we're looking at it. Sometimes the moon looks like a big circle in the sky. We call this a full moon. As the month goes on, we see less and less of the moon. We can only see the part of the moon that is reflecting the light of the sun. As the moon moves around the earth, our planet blocks the sunlight from a part of the moon's surface. That makes the moon appear to change its shape. Groups of stars seem to make shapes in the sky. Can you see any star pictures? Maybe one day on a clear night, or one night on a clear, in the clear sky, you'll be able to see lots of lights. Lights in the sky that are stars. Different constellations that form different pictures. The white lines show the Big Dipper, the Big Dipper, the Small Dipper, and the North Star. The solar system spacecraft have, uh, sorry, the solar system, go, spacecraft have already taken pictures of many of the planets that revolve around the sun. Perhaps someday you will be able to visit one of the other eight planets in our solar system. How exciting that would be. Well, now they're, they've said that Pluto isn't really a planet, it's a dwarf planet. But still, we talk about that. We can sing the song. If anyone remembers the song, you can sing it with me. Ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Nip Neptune, Pluto, the farthest one. His name has made it famous. Those are the planets and those all travel around the sun along with our Earth. If you were an astronaut on the moon, you'd see the Earth softly glowing in a dark sky. Yeah, they have all these books. Airplanes, bears, birds, castles, cats, colors, dinosaurs, Earth and skies, egg, flowers, fruit, ladybug, tree, weather. Actually, they have more. I have water. Anyway, great book, great series. Happy Earth Week. Love you guys. Bye.